If you could discover the whole truth about one historical event, what would it be and why? The Romans flooding the Colosseum to have naval battle shows. I'd love to see the enormity of what setting that up actually looks like and what a spectacle those naval battle shows were. They are going to do it again. What happened on the Malaysian flight that disappeared? The most likely theory is that the pilot deoxygenated the plane and then flew around with the dead bodies for around six hours until he lost oxygen and died too in a suicide. It's just a very fascinating mystery that probably will never have a conclusive ending. I read this article a month or so ago. It lays out the evidence and lack of cooperation from Malaysian authorities. I find the idea of someone flying straight into the most remote part of the world for six hours with a cargo of corpses extremely unsettling. Stuff You Should Know did an amazing podcast on this. And yes they also said the most plausible is the senior pilot locked the junior pilot out of the cockpit, which has happened to other airlines before, and did his suicide thing. The biggest nail in the coffin to this theory is the senior pilot flew this exact flight plan, what MH370 flew, on his home computer with no destination airport programmed in a week or two before the actual flight. Seriously, have a listen if you haven't. The Trojan War. It definitely won't be as interesting as what Homer said happened, but I need to know. I'm always fascinated by ones like this because when you look at the broad strokes of the Iliad and the Odyssey you can definitely work out how there's a pretty plausible story under there. Paris and Helen probably just eloped, or Paris kidnapped her, Achilles was probably just a particularly good fighter, Odysseus probably just shipwrecked, or spent a few years banging some hot chick he met then when he got back to Penelope was all like you aren't gonna believe what happened, babe and all the rest got blown up into legend. On March 18, 1990, 13 works of art worth $500 million were stolen from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston in the early hours. Guards admitted two men posing as police officers responding to a disturbance call, and the thieves tied the guards up and looted the museum over the next hour. No arrests have been made and no works have been recovered. If I discovered the whole truth about this event, I'd love to see the art returned and to collect the $10 million reward for information leading to the art's recovery the largest bounty ever offered by a private institution. Or you now become the owner of $500 million worth of art. To be fair though that art will probably never be found as it's likely been sold off to multiple people with no trail left behind. I doubt the people who stole the art or even the person who sold it off know where it's at now. I picture some rich underground art dealer having a ridiculously expensive painting hanging above his toilet right about now. Seriously, Jack the Ripper. My favorite Jack the Ripper theory is that there was no Jack the Ripper. Rather, a series of unrelated murders were spun into a narrative about a serial killer. Apparently the one note allegedly from Jack taking credit for the murders is of questionable authenticity, and even if it was real there's still the possibility of someone trying to take credit for a murder they didn't commit. Not sure if this counts as historical in the traditional sense, but I want to know everything connected to Epstein and his pedo ring. I want names because I have a sinking feeling they're all going to get away with it. People in power are getting away with it all the time. I'd like to know what happened to D.B. Cooper after he jumped off the plane. My two favorite theories. He survived the jump but lost the money along the way. So he just went back to his day job on Monday. He didn't really jump but instead hit on the plane somewhere. In the hubbub around the plane after he landed, he slipped away. In this scenario he ditched his tie likely because he was changing his appearance and his clothing in some way. All the societies slash empires slash tribes that have emerged during a period of human existence completely devoid of any recordings. Just a huge chunk of human existence lost to the dust of time. This makes me think of all the possible Native American slash Middle Eastern slash European tribes slash groups slash societies that could have ruled for hundreds of years. The more I think about it, the more I want to know about individuals. Like imagine the first people, not on record, 
to discover things like Niagara Falls, the Americas, Mount Everest, things like that. The sinking of the Lusitania. I really want to know what that second explosion was, along with all the lies and twists and turns that the story took as various governments scrambled to make themselves look good. I think it could be a good possibility that she was carrying some dangerous cargo, but the munitions theory falls apart when you realize that the torpedo missed her cargo holds entirely and hit her boiler room. So what exploded? Why did she sink so fast? The US Foreign Office admitted that she was carrying ammo in the mid-80s if I recall correctly. Just like we finally admitted that the Gulf of Tony Khan incident didn't actually happen. The plastic surgery and transportation of Nazi officers from Fuerteventura to Argentine. Also how we ended up in possession of a female skull, instead of Hitler's actual skull. Something to do with Abstergo and the dual gender stuff and the latest revision of Animus. I'm not even US citizen, but gosh. Kennedy. IDKY but I'd like to know. In that vein, MLK. A civil suit filed by King's family, which was symbolic in nature, they only sued for $100, led to the conclusion by the jury that the assassination was part of a conspiracy by federal government agencies and the Memphis police. Would really like to know if that's true and if so what exactly happened. The murder of Swedish Prime Minister Olaf Palm in 1986. It's never been solved asterisk even though it's the largest criminal investigation in Swedish history. Asterisk the investigation was sort of concluded last year when police said we think it was this guy, but we don't really have any evidence and unfortunately he died 20 years ago so we can't ask him. A well case closed but no one is taking it seriously and apparently they're thinking about opening it up again. Similarly, the plane crash in 1961 that killed UN Secretary Jen Dag Hammarskjöld en route to the peace talks that threatened to remove the Congolese copper industry from colonial control. British and US secret services were trying to meddle, three formal inquiries failed to determine the cause of the crash, and there are multiple witnesses and other informants who have alleged that it was a deliberate assassination via shooting from a military plane. Where is little William Tyrell? Three-year-old boy who went missing from his front yard in NSW Australia a few years ago without a trace. Breaks my heart. I was living in the area at the time he disappeared, and have even visited the house. The whole story is strange and I can't wrap my head around it as being truthful. The house is at the end of a dead-end street, so in order for a car to have picked him up and disappeared with him so quickly and quietly is very hard to believe, it would have been seen slash heard turning around to head out. They have proven the photo of him at the home that morning just prior had the date time stamp doctored. I also find it odd that his sister was playing with him at the time of his disappearance, but it has never been made public what she saw, you would expect that she may have been able to suggest the make slash model of the vehicle. I've always suspected the Foster family in this. His actual parents were never capable of being involved. I think the police know what happened but can't make certain details public until they can piece it all together and make an arrest. I'd love to know what happened to the Nazi gold train. Fun fact, here in Greece at the mountain ridges above the Catacolo area in Peloponnese, there used to be a fort and allegedly some tunnels going all the way across the ridge below that fort. When the Nazis took over, most of the riches looted by the Nazis in Peloponnese were stashed by those tunnels. At one point during the end of the war, the fort was destroyed and the tunnels buried. So everyone who knows about this wants to go dig up there, but this is likely never going to happen. Why? Because the Nazis, piss on their souls burning in hell, sprinkled the whole stony, rough mountain with landmines. Some of the children who were born there after the war have lost limbs or their lives up those mountains, and no one in an official position will give you permit to legally go up there and dig around since THD only way up jade is on foot throughout the mine-infested mountainside. And illegally digging for ancient artifacts or historical items can easily get you charged for trying to smuggle antiquity items, among many other things.